Here we are, Open Mic Friday. I'm Mike Spence, and I'm here with special guest Cameron Dugan, our English teacher up at Argonaut High School. Cameron, welcome to uh, the show. Thank you very much. I've been trying to, to get here. you on for a couple of weeks, and uh, we had the big Foreigner concert last night, so if my voice just completely goes, just Cameron, you just kind of fill in I'll as we fill go. In. Uh, because Foreigner kept yelling, Jackson, I can't hear you. And we were up out of our seats. I mean, the Jackson Ranch Area was rocking last night. I mean, that had to be the best show that they've had up there in an awfully long time. That outdoor, the new outdoor venue. And, you know, we had 2,000 of us old timers here in Jackson. I don't think anybody was under 50 years of age. Uh, it was just a great, uh, great venue to be able to uh, be outdoors on a beautiful summer night up there at the Ranch Area and have such a great band. It was a lot of fun. The, uh, the reason we have you, Cameron, on Open Mic Friday, we have to have a reason, don't we? No. Uh, no, we really don't, because <laughs> uh, you're one of my favorite teachers up at Argonaut. Thank you. Uh, I sit on the Parent Advisory Board um, as uh, the Argonaut representative, and I follow the teachers closely. And uh, recently, you were in a uh, newspaper article, which I thought was a little bit odd, but uh, to see a teacher kind of emerging out of a whole group, uh, but that's because you formed the Teacher Action Group that's right. up there at Argonaut High School, a new kind of proactive plan uh, and group that uh, gets teachers a little more involved in, uh, you know, what's going on, things that can be done better uh, for the students. Uh, not that things are stagnating or you're trying to change anything, but just trying to get more teachers involved in doing more things. I mean, uh, when that bell rings at 3 o'clock or whenever, you know, it's time for everybody to go home, and That's right. you formed a new teacher action group so that everybody can stay and do something extra. Yeah, I, um, you know, in my fifth year of teaching at Argonaut, I had to come to the decision for myself personally, was I going to stay in my classroom and just do my lesson plans and go home, or was I going to attempt to try to improve, you know, the lives of the kids and the experience of both the teachers and the kids and the parents and everyone involved? And I decided that if I was going to stay in teaching, that I wanted to have a bigger impact. And so in having conversations with fellow teachers and administrators and parents, um, I thought it would be a good idea if we could, as uh, teachers and educators at Argonaut, get together and discuss some of the issues that we feel like could be improved. And some of them are as simple as getting some professional development for, um, for our different um, subject matter like science, keeping up with the research and English and trying to prepare the kids better for college, making sure that um, teachers get better training so that we can bring the new knowledge to the kids and also other things like getting a new track and trying to find money to get that done. You know, we have a lot of issues that we feel like need to be addressed, but it's just words until you actually sit down and start to do work. Uh, we need a new uh, internet um, website. I think it'd be great if parents could go online and see what their kids' assignments are for that night and be able to contact the teacher, maybe even download uh, Microsoft Word documents or PowerPoints if they miss a day. And currently we don't have uh, the ability to do that, but it wouldn't be too difficult to sign up for a website and put our information on there and have teachers update it and be able to kind of get with current trends and provide that. So I re did some research and I formed the TAG group, Teacher Action Group, and I had a great response from the teachers and administrators at Argonaut. Uh, we came together, um, you know, 30 of us at least. Uh, some people make it when they can, some people are more dedicated. And at the end of last year, we were able to set some goals and form some kind of subcommittees. I call them teams. I had some team captains in charge. I think we have a communication team and a professional development team and a campus climate team. And they each choose a goal and work towards completing that goal, ask questions, research if they need to find money, find where they can get it, um, if they need to contact someone in the community for help, they do that, so that it's not just a uh, conversation that we have, that it's positive action, and that's one of the things that we stress a lot is, okay, we can complain, or we can create positive forward movement, and what can we do about it, um, and trying to f problem solve and find solutions, and so I think it's been a really positive experience so far, and I'm really excited for this year for the uh, teachers and parents and kids and administration and the district to be able to communicate better and get our needs filled. 
that's the key word communications you mentioned it earlier and just now <clears throat> the you know I see a lot of that on the on the advisory board and the communications between the school district and the teachers the teachers and the students and the parents mm -hmm. and that just that loop it goes around and around yeah. and you don't know what's best what you want them mm -hmm. to do or what you want the teachers to be doing what the parents want the teachers to be doing what the school district is expecting of you and you have a lot of that national core curriculum that's being mm -hmm. uh, put together for you and um, I know that communications loop is very important and, and that's really trying to get you know some of those you know obviously the website technological things going but there are a lot of specific uh, tasks that you can put these groups onto, but just that better improving communications. Yeah, uh, that's an important one. Yeah, and it's difficult <laughs> from all angles because as a parent, you have a certain experience. Your child comes home and they tell you what happened at school or their version of what happened. You see something in the paper. You hear something through a phone call that goes home from the district. That's your experience. The child's in class with their classmates. They see the teacher. They have several different classes. They get in trouble from the vice principal. They have a story to tell. A teacher is in their classroom getting uh, information from the district and from the administrators that, um, you know, they interpret in their own way. They have their own way of teaching and they get feedback from parents and, and students. And then there's the administrators who are in their <laughs> office and out in the classrooms and trying to be able to, you know, better facilitate for those teachers and then kind of provide a, a liaison between the teachers and the parents and then you got parents calling you. So it's, there's no one way to communicate and often things get uh, confused, but to be able to improve that, I think would improve everyone's experience. I do too. I, I never thought I'd ever brag about having a communications degree. But <laughs> since you since you mentioned you went to Santa Barbara, that's right. So did I. Uh, I graduated in 1979. Go I Gauchos! Little, I was a little bit ahead. Of you. I am a Gaucho. All right. And um, and that was back in the 70s. So we had a different way of communicating back uh -huh, then. Uh -huh. <laughs> so the they still communicate the same way. <laughs> yeah, there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it hasn't changed all yeah. that much. But uh, that was a great time in my life. But uh, you mentioned that you had gone to Santa Barbara as well and had a lot of uh, schooling. But uh, you know we're about to go to break. But I just want people to know. Um, here with Cameron Dugan, Amador High School's English teacher. Argonaut. Argonaut, excuse me. Um, I've had. Children, I graduated children, from Amador, you, so you I played both to, sides. Yeah, you went to Amador. That's right. Yeah, we were just talking about that. But uh, I wanted to make sure that we uh, were talking about the action group, and we're going to come back and talk a little bit more about that. Before we go to break, though, I always like to make sure that our our viewers know that you are a, a product of Pioneer School and you've right. gone to grammar school here locally. Yep. And your Jackson family, Junior High. Family was from here and mm -hmm. you're an Amador County product. And uh, correct. I'm looking forward to coming back and talking more about the Teacher Action Group up there at Argonaut High School. Uh, and we also have butter in the house and we're going to talk about all different sorts of things. So we're going to take a butter break and uh, we'll come right back. But please stay tuned and uh, we'll be right back. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.